Salve te omnes! Today we're going to talk about cardinal and ordinal numbers in Latin. So let's start with ordinal numbers. These are the numbers like first, second, third, fourth. And in Latin, all of them act like first, second adjectives. So let's have a look at them first through tenth. Right? So first, primus a um, second, secundus a um, third, tertius a um, fourth, quartus a um, fifth, quintus a um, sixth, sextus a um, seventh, septimus a um, eighth, octavus a um, ninth, nonus a um, and tenth, decimus a um. So, as I said, and as you probably could tell from how they were written, all of these are first, second adjectives. So this means that they decline like bonus a um. So like adjective, magnus a um, like these adjectives that we already know how to use. Let's look at a few sentences. So if we wanted to say Cicero's first book is beautiful. We would say, Ciceronis liber primus pulcher est, right? Cicero's first book is beautiful. And we see primus modifying liber in case, number, and gender. So it's masculine, nominative, and singular. Let's look at one other. We arrived at Rome on the 10th day. Decimo die Romam advenimus. So we arrived at Rome on the 10th day. And soon we will learn more about uh, using time, uh, using our cases to express time. Right? So here we're just getting a little sneak preview of the ablative of time when. All right, so one more city. He founded the third city. Ile urbum tertiam condidit. He founded the third city, Ille Urbum Tertium Condirit. All right, now let us move along to our cardinal numbers. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, on and on and on. So uh, here we see, I've written them out 1 through 10, so we can see uno saum, duo, due, duo, tres, tria, quator, quinque, sex, septum. Octo, novum, decim. Now, this is because the cardinal numbers 4 through 100 do not decline. So no matter how you're using them in the sentence, they will be the same. So 4 will always be quator, 9 will always be novum, uh, 6 will always be sex, uh, 10 will always be decim, right? So they, they don't decline. But 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, and 3 do. Right? And we want to have a, a look at them because they have their own special way. So, uh, one will decline unus una unum, unius unius unius, uni uni uni, unum unam unum, and uno una uno. Right? So we notice that it looks mostly like a first, second declension adjective, uh, but then we have the genitive and the dative that are like illa illa illud. Hmm? So let's see this in action in a sentence. So if we wanted to say Shintilla bought one book, we would say Shintilla unum librum emit. Shintilla bought one book unum librum. Now two, uh, once again we want to pay a little special attention to how it will decline. And of course, we're noticing one is only exists in the singular, two and three will only exist in the plural. Uh, so two will go duo, due, duo. Uh, that is a little, you know, we don't normally see O as a, as a nominative, so we want to pay real special attention. Then the genitive duorum, duorum, duorum. The dative duobus, duobus, duobus. The accusative, so here for the masculine, it can, the masculine uh, accusative can be either duo or duos. So we want to pay attention to that duo or duos. Uh, the feminine accusative, plural, of course, duos. 
and the neuter accusative plural duo, just like the nominative, and then the ablative duobus, duobus, duobus. So if we want to say, Flaccus was making conversation with two friends, here we can say, Flaccus cum duobus amicis colloquium faciebat. Flaccus cum duobus amicis colloquium faciebat. Flaccus was making conversation with two friends, right? And last, we'll have a look at three. So three is a little bit different than one and two, because here we see that the masculine and feminine are the same, and the neuter uh, has its own. So really, we're looking at this, uh, and, and actually, we'll notice that it really uh, declines like, like omnia, right? Um, so, so it's really not anything that we haven't seen before. It looks just like omnis, omnia, you know, in the, in the plural, the plural of omnis, omnis. Uh, so, tres tria for the nominative uh, masculine, feminine, the nominative neuter, you know, it would be trium, trium, tribus, tribus, tres tria, right? Because of course the accusative has to match the nominative, the neuter, and the ablative tribus, tribus. All right, so here we see it in a sentence. Three candidates make speeches in the forum. Tres candidati orationes in foro faciunt. Right? Tres candidati orationes in foro faciunt. Three candidates make speeches in the forum, or three candidates are making speeches in the forum. And that is how we use cardinal and ordinal numbers in Latin. Palete!